coming to you from the west shoulder, Alex Kalinin. <laughs> I had to switch my hands because my hand was getting rather tired, which is okay. I'm no machine. Dun 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 dun. Oh my god, I know these people. What's up, boys? I see you everywhere, man. That's it. What's up? Good morning. morning. Good morning. Hello. Oh, dogs. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, here yeah, dogs again. Good morning. Oh, people, more people. Good morning, social media. It's your boy Alex, obviously. I always record videos and I just figured one I will record for it to stay. Look at this, beautiful! So this morning I just wanted to bring up one point. I've been talking about it on my disappearing Instagram stories. But I, I know, I'm confident that I'm so impactful in other people's lives that I just want this message to always be there on the internet. So here's my lesson number one for you. Many people write to me and they say, Alex, Alex they say, how do you maintain positive attitude, pass the life challenges, you know, it's 2020, it's coronavirus, it's just sad and we're just mad and blah blah blah. And I'm very grateful that this question got asked to me because I, therefore, started digging deeper into my own understanding of this uh, interesting concept of Alex's unsuppressible positivity. So one word they came up with like, to describe. One word is this, gratitude. What does that mean? It's really hard to be upset or sad or mad about life. If you're grateful for life, and it doesn't have to be anything crazy, you know, you don't have to make your first million. You don't have to drive a fancy car, maybe it helps. But be grateful for the things that you do have. And you can start basic, very basic. So follow me here. I will mention, for example, I am riding a bike here in the morning, checking my makeup. What do I have to be grateful for? Well, look around you. Beautiful grass, beautiful grass. You know, I could have not had the grass. Look at this, beautiful sweatshirt, keeps me very warm. If I wasn't warm, I wouldn't be out here recording this beautiful content, sharing with my million subscribers. Look, lake, ducks, trees are growing. You know, my bicycle, check this out. This isn't, by the way, sponsorship by Harley Davidson. That's in the next video, maybe. And, you know, but be grateful, be grateful for the things that you do have your family, your, I don't know, job or lack thereof. Maybe people who say, oh, you know, I lost my job or I don't work as much. Well, maybe it's time to rethink if you even need that job. You know, maybe, you know, many people reach out to me and they say, Alex, coronavirus was one of the coolest things because it took me out of the job that I never wanted to do and now I'm pursuing my degree or hobby, a musical instrument, all these beautiful, wonderful things. Look, they think I'm checking my makeup. That's nice. But here's what you need to understand. Be grateful. Be grateful for the things you do have. Your ability to run, walk, go on walks, eat good food, you know, drink water. And oftentimes, people forget that because they indulge themselves into things that are just over the top and overstimulating if you will you know I it's hard to appreciate the taste of water if all you drink is coca-cola you know or juice it's just one of those things man people just over oversaturate their lives with many things and then they don't and then they don't see the value in the simple things so take a step back and just reevaluate the foundation of your life what truly what truly makes you happy and think back to the times when you were happy. Whatever made you happy, do that. You know, I know that sometimes I wake up on the weekends and I lay in my bed and then I start going about my chores and I'm just like, man, like this morning just isn't the one. Good morning. This morning just isn't the one, it's just, I'm off. Well, I know that for me, bike rides make me happy. 
So I know that I need to wake up, ride my bike, and then I'll be happy. And he fixes it. Or I'm gonna go hit the weights, things like that, you know. But that's your big lesson number one: gratitude. Uh, once again, I just you know challenge you. And I, you, uh, you know, and what challenge isn't the right one to use? Could people say challenge, detox, cut, all these crazy words? Just be grateful, you know. I wouldn't say challenge yourself for 30 days. I would say just think of it, remind yourself, you know, maybe write a little note somewhere and do it for 15 days, then forget about it day 16 and do it again on day 17. This isn't anything crazy. Don't use it as a challenge. A lot of people say, well, I'm doing this gratitude challenge. What? Just be grateful, you know? So it's one of those things. One of those things that ultimately pay off big time because you notice that by paying attention to the little good things, big good things come. You realize that, um, you realize that by focusing on the good, you notice more good. It's one of those things where I was reading a book called The Compound Effect, it was gifted to me, and it spoke about the things that we, you know, as humans, our eyes always see, like we always see things. However, we don't pay attention to everything because it would be over stimulating for our brains. Therefore, our brain only picks out the things that we program it to pick up. Therefore, tune your mind into positivity and you'll notice positive things. It'll take some time, I'm sure, and that's okay. As long as it gets done. But that's the big thing, folks. So tune your mind to pick out positivity. And nobody is going to do it for you. You will notice, you will notice that when you tune your mind to it, people are like, oh my God, you live in your wonderful world that you made up. Well, how else am I supposed to live? It's my world after all. I only see the world out of my one box, you know? So it's my choice how I see things. You know, and screwed up things happen in life. And that's what I tell people, what are you gonna do about it? Fix it, how do you fix it? By putting your head down or getting to work, right? Well, it's hard to get to work. If you're so negative and hopeless, oh my God, my relationship, oh my God, my job, oh my God, my this, my that. Well, you will never fix it with that attitude. So see it, find something positive. For example, oh my God, my job sucks. But good thing is I'm gonna quit soon. So what am I gonna do about it? Well, I better find a new job. Cool, let's get it. So it's one of those things, folks. Gratitude is key. Gratitude is key. And when you're grateful for things around you, more grateful things around you will come and will appear. So please, take this video seriously or not. I don't care much, I just wanna help the world, if you will. Often, it's just one of those simple things. You, you look around you and you're like, man, how is one so positive? And then you realize that good things happen to good people. If you develop that good, good mindset, good attitude, good positive attitude, you realize that better things will come. And then some things, bad things will come, but that's not your problem. Because you know that they're not your things. It's like, oh, it'll pass. It wasn't meant for me. Or whatever, whatever power you believe in, seek gratitude from it, from it and seek power. Don't let, don't let it weigh you down and don't let the world weigh you down because the world is pretty good at weighing people down. So be mindful, you know. For example, as I'm riding down the street, my chair squeaks because it's a Goodwill bicycle. Well, I'm grateful because, as it turns out, I don't have a horn so people can hear me. Sometimes I also, in a childlike manner, because I play too much, which is a good thing, do this. I'm running down the street and I go, which is a lot of fun. Try it sometime. That's another thing that we'll get into next time. However, be grateful for things. Look around you and what are you grateful for? Are you grateful that sun is shining, trees are growing? Grass is green, birds are singing. 
or are you grateful for your friends not hitting you up because they kind of annoy you or are you grateful for your Wi-Fi being shut down today because all of a sudden you were able to drink a cup of coffee and drink read a book so all those many many different things all right folks I hope this helps and I remember one thing good things happen to good people ciao They don't know I'm recording the video. They just think I'm checking out my makeup. Oh, did a good job this morning, Alex. Good work. <laughs>